All right, Amy Rose, you attended the presentation of Disney's D23 in Anaheim this weekend. Yep. So what were some of the highlights? It was such a great presentation. Of course, it's super magical the way Disney does best. And I really just wanted to go to Disneyland after. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Being right there she and did. with all the fun, I really wanted to. So they definitely um, made it worth our while. They showed us a bunch of clips. Uh, Thor 2, they showed us an extended clip of Jane Foster, Natalie Portman, who was there and she's gorgeous and charming and wonderful yes. so they showed us an extended clip of her first going to Oscar and F Anthony Hopkins was not too happy about it and uh, it looks like there's definitely gonna be a lot of comedy in this film as well and Alan Taylor um, I do have a lot of confidence from directing Game of Thrones and you know I love Kenneth Branagh's first Thor film but uh, from the clips and everything I saw seen the the tone is really cool and the actors are all back and I love their chemistry so I'm really excited about that so we saw an extended clip of that mm -hmm. um, we also speaking of Sir Kenneth Branagh we saw um, concept art for Cinderella mm -hmm. and it is I mean you can really tell his theatrical background with Hamlet and everything he's done beyond just Thor because it it felt like such a rich complex world and you know it's gonna have the dark fun twist to it like he always does and Kate Blanchett as the evil stepmother, I mean, it's perfect. And uh, Helena Bonham Carter, she pretty much plays a fairy godmother in most roles because she's whimsical <laughs> and dancing around. So she'll be great. And we got to see Lily James uh, screen test for Cinderella. And I don't watch Downton Abbey, but I hear she's fantastic in it. Mm. Um, so that was cool. And I really like the tone he kind of set. And Richard Madden, speaking of Game of Thrones, he's such a great actor. And I'm really excited to see him as Prince Charming. So that was really great. Um, Captain America 2. It's gonna be so fun having Black Widow and the Cap together because they're so different. And again, it's gonna have a lot of comedy. And we saw one action scene of Cap in the elevator and more and more people just keep coming in. And he eventually you know, realizes that it's gonna be a big ambush. He's like, anyone wanna get out before we get started? And he pretty much single-handedly takes out 10 guys and it's a really cool aerial shot and I think uh, it's gonna be really exciting so that was great too. Gardens of the Galaxy they showed us an extended Comic-Con clip and we got all the fun characters and again James Gunn is such a quirky director and you can feel this I was a little you know not worried but you know I'm sure how they would bring this to the big screen because the content you know a talking walking tree and rocket raccoon and all these characters if they don't do it the right way could have been you know a colossal failure but yeah. I'm really happy to see that he is embracing comedy I mean when Chris Pratt was up there and he's like oh he goes by Star, Star Lord and um, one of the agents was like oh who calls him that and they're like mostly himself like it's it's gonna be funny <laughs> and they're like oh they they're known as the guardians of the galaxy those a-holes like it's it's gonna be really funny and good and I thought um, all the special effects and everything the makeup looked really great so I'm excited about that um, one sad thing is they didn't give us any Star Wars news. Nothing yeah. at all. I was all excited about it, even a title, some some sort of direction, but we got nothing. So that was they a little. They said on Friday they were not ready to divulge any information yet. Of really? course not. Really? Of course, Come on, yeah, no. just give me a little something, something. You know. Darth Vader was there. That's it. And then well, we got um, two years. Come on. We we. Yeah. I just want something. Just I give know, me something. And then Saving Mr. Banks um, looks fantastic. They showed us an extended clip of that as well with Emma Thompson and Tom Hanks, and he's going to do such an incredible job. And at the end of it, they had a musical number, uh, Let's Go Fly a Kite, and um, Sherman, the actual composer from one the film, them. one of them, came out, Richard Sherman, and got a standing oh. O. And uh, it was a fun musical number, people dancing with kites in the hallways, and it was, it was really fun, very Disney. And then um, Tomorrowland, D Damon Lindelof and Brad Bird, they showed us the actual box that kind of inspired the movie, and they kept saying, no, we didn't bring out stars like George Clooney and blah, 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 but we have this dusty box, and that you can tell they really love each other and enjoyed working together. So that whole film is a very big mystery. They're not telling us much about it, and I am excited nothing. about it. They told me nothing. Really? Nothing. And then and um, the last one that I was really excited about was Maleficent. Yes. Um, Angelina Jolie, goddess, came out on the stage. There were three standing ovations the whole time. 
Anthony Hopkins was one of them, Richard Sherman, the composer, and Angelina Jolie. And she was talking about how Maleficent was always her favorite character growing up, and how on set there were all these kids. She's like, oh yeah, it's a Disney picture. And they said, mom, don't let the, the witch talk to me. She's like, so we knew we did a really good job with yeah. the makeup. Uh. <laughs> and they showed us a clip, and Elle Fanning, who was fantastic up and coming actress, um, she plays Aurora, the princess. So I'm really excited. It was a really great, fun time. And uh, Miss Chrisley, you were uh, interviewing for us, holding it down. What were some of your highlights? I didn't get to see all the fun clips, but I did get to see everyone on uh, the carpet afterwards. And um, I think my highlight of everything I've done so far with AMC would be if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you know I really like to play the game. So as soon as Amy Rose and I pulled onto Disneyland Drive, the mouse ears came on because it's a rule, and I don't know if you're all aware of this, but when you pull on Disneyland Drive, you have to put your mouse ears on. I did not know that. <laughs> I, I didn't either. <laughs> and so Anthony Mackie, uh, the Falcon, just in case you don't know, he wants you to know. He's, he's the, the Falcon. Falcon. Um, who also is going to try to take on Iron Man, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Um, he was like, silver Jeep. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, what do you drive? He's like, silver Jeep. He's like, why do you know that? He totally called me out on camera for wearing my mouse ears driving down the street. He's like, Doing what, Chrisley? Taking selfies. Sh she was taking a selfie. I had to show you all my Instagram pictures. <laughs> oh, um, so nice. So super fun moment, because you never know who's next to you in traffic. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, I love that. Talking to Robert Stromberg about Maleficent, mm -hmm. um, talking about Angelina Jolie, just talking about the movie and him saying that there's going to be a lot of things that you don't expect um, and made it sound so magical. Yeah, it feels very wicked like, it, it like from the it. perspective of Maleficent, which is a cool take. Oh, nice. Damon Lindelof, I tried so hard, guys. I tried for my AMC Movie Talk fans. I tried, I pulled, I begged. He would give me nothing except talk about this box. So Valiant make sure effort. you check out the interview, though. Wow. Um, and then BJ Novak and J Jason Schwartzman talked about Saving Mr. Banks and how um, singing was very hard. And this was kind of a tougher role because one of the Sherman brothers is still alive. Mm -hmm. And so when you're playing a character, it's easy, but when you're playing a character that's still alive that's going to see it, mm -hmm. it's a little mm -hmm. bit different. So that was kind of a really interesting perspective. Um, and I did overhear Miss Natalie Portman talking about how excited she was for the new Star Wars on the carpet. I didn't ask her about it, but I did overhear her. So oh. she's super excited about Star Wars coming out. Well, who, aren't we, aren't we all? all? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Fun time had by all at D23. Thanks, Disney. Yes. Oh. Anything that you're excited about? You know, I, titles, I, didn't, I didn't have the pleasure of being there. Uh, I'm definitely, you know what? I'm a sucker for Thor. I love yeah. I love Thor. And this one looks so good. Mm -hmm. uh, everything I see, the more I see about it, the more excited I get. And I I, I really am excited to see what they what they do with Natalie Portman because she was eh in the first one. Mm -hmm. Thank I, you. Yeah, she really <laughs> was. No, it's <laughs> absolutely true. The only one true. that agrees with me. I mean, I didn't. I like seeing her there, but yeah. she was fine. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm curious to see where they go. I, I wish I would have seen the footage. Yeah. You know, what I'm excited for is, is saving Mr. Banks. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which is weird, but I grew up. You know, I grew up in, with Mary Poppins. Oh, of and course, every, yeah. Every little boy, I think, in my generation, kind of had a crush on Julie Andrews. Mm -hmm. So she's you know, a babe. Yeah, she's total babe. So I can't wait. I can't wait. And I, lo I love, I love Emma. I think she's such a phenomenal she's great, actress. Yeah. So I, I it, it's a great cast, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. Awesome. But yeah, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs>